So my name is Josh Bernstein. I'm a uh, Brooklyn-based beer writer. I'm the author of Brewed Awakening, which is the story of craft beer in America. I spent about 18 months traveling across the country, interviewing brewers, interviewing beer drinkers, bar owners, home brewers, to kind of tell the story of where America's at and where the world's at with craft beer, letting them tell the stories instead of just, you know, another reciting ABV, IBUs, all that good stuff. It's really people's passion on the page is what I tried to get across. I have a tour that I run in New York City. It's Everyone always asks me the name of it, so I just call it the Homebrew Tour, which is probably the uh, most basic name, but it's also the most evocative. A few years ago, the New York City um, New York City Craft Beer Week asked me to put together a couple tours. So my first one I did was a scary dive bar tour. I did a column for a newspaper called the New York Press for years all about my favorite scary dive bars because my whole idea was the really terrifying bars are the ones that are the frat bars on a Friday night at two in the morning. And like the dive bars, the ones that look terrifying from the outside, you know, they, they're kind of like, they got bumblebee exterior, like a, but you know, like a teddy bear heart. They're like, they're usually the most accommodating, friendly places on the inside. So I was trying to debunk this idea of what's frightening about bars. And then the second tour I did was the, uh, was a homebrew tour. So at the time, my friend Sean White, who, uh, he was working out in Cascade Brewing and now he's working at Jackie O's Brew Pub in Athens, Ohio. He was a president of the New York City Homebrewers Guild. And then, so I got to know a lot of the homebrewers back then. And so I thought, it would be really fun if we did a tour where you got to actually meet the brewers, go inside their homes, try their beer. And so I put together a tour. I kind of got overly ambitious in the sense where I had four stops on the tour. And I've learned since then, but four stops on the tour, we started off in the deepest part of Brooklyn and Bay Ridge and took the trains out. And so this was about, ended up being about 10 hours of straight drinking with a barbecue in between. I was like, I'm done with this tour and never doing it again. I was like, that was a fun one day thing. And then, the email started rolling in, and like, when's the next tour? And I was like, what do you mean by the next tour? It was never really supposed to be a, uh, like a, a repeat event. So I thought, okay, so I got a new group of homebrewers together, and I did another tour about two months later, and it was, I did three stops this time, and then it was a super hit. And so they're like, okay, when's the next one? So I started getting this email list. I kept them to 25 people, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're in a small apartment in New York City, it's a lot of people. And then I said 25 people, I tried to keep them to like 45 minutes to an hour at each person's stop. And then usually ask the brewers to pour between two and four beers. I usually try to have at least one new brewer on every tour and I do it neighborhood based now where I try to find three brewers in a certain neighborhood. Like in, um, it'll be all in Manhattan in like downtown Manhattan, hopefully, or oriented off the train. So you just have to ride one train together, which I don't know if you ever tried to take 25 people on a train, like on a, on a Saturday afternoon during busy tour season, it's kind of crazy. What's great about it is there's just such a, there's an intimacy when you're in someone's home. It breaks down those boundaries that usually exist at bars and restaurants. Cause think about it, like when you're at a party, where your, where your most comfortable space is, is the kitchen. You're hanging out there, and so you're in people's kitchens already, and so then you have a beer in someone's kitchen. I mean, it can't help but start conversations. And so it just, it goes on from there. And there's just, um, I thought, you know what? I haven't run out of home brewers yet. There's just more and more in New York City. It's a sense of pride for a lot of people that they want to show off their beer. And I mean, you know, as a home brewer, the coolest thing ever is showing someone your beer and like having them dig it. I mean, it's showing off the thing you're most proud of. And so I've got a lot of brewers that are um, actually that start off on the tour and are now going pro. So it's been fun to watch the evolution of the brewers from, you know, amateurs to professionals and, you know, drinking the beer along the way.